So hey guys, this is director Ray Talinci of Never Falter Films, and I'd like to just start off by thanking you for um, coming in and watching the the film as well as the commentary. I know it's a really short film, so there's not much to say about it, but you know, I figured it would be nice to have a little bit more insight to the project. To start off by saying that the film initially started off as just a test. Um, we really didn't know what we were going to come up with because we kind of just wanted to see if we could pull off doing a short film. And I think that what we came out with for the time, budget, and money that we had, it, it wasn't too bad. What's funny is, is that the film was actually shot entirely silent. I mean, I don't think a lot of people know that. Fun little fact, we didn't have sound equipment at the time. So it pretty much was shot as a silent film and in post I added all the sound effects of our co-director Troy with him running and the gunshots and the zombie groans and you know the hitting of the gates and all the other stuff. We went in back to every location and just kind of reenacted everything. I would say that the film definitely did teach me a lot about sound design and how that affects the film. There's the score was actually done by Kevin McLeod, I think is his name. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. It's from his royalty-free music, but I think that we managed to find a way to mix the tracks together to kind of make it feel like it wasn't just one, you know, like a generic score. It definitely helps the film a lot in many ways. And doing this project also helped me realize how much music can affect a film and the suspense and the way it's shot and cut together uh, but you know now I, I would prefer to have original music for it all the zombies that you see in the film are actually just friends who showed up you know that day last minute to do it our makeup effects artist uh, Chewy I think you saw her in the credits she shows up later did all the makeup spent about an hour on it and she did a pretty good job for somebody who's not, before at the time wasn't as experienced as she is now. Funny fact is, is that this alley actually, I think got closed down after we shot there. We tried to go back and shoot there again, but we wasn't, we wasn't able to get back in because they blocked it off. I'm pretty sure it's probably the reason that, you know, Troy was screaming and all the noise that we made, you know, while shooting. Originally, the black and white wasn't the choice to go with. We actually wanted more of a bronze kind of rusted color. But once in post, it started to look really good in black and white with the film grain. And it kind of reminded me of a Night in the Living Dead kind of Romero homage film, which is what I wanted to go for with this um, this scene here, with the eating of our character Troy. I definitely wanted to call back to that. I always felt like the, the best death scenes came from Romero zombie movies. I love the, the gore without the gore kind of aspect. Also like Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho is what I was trying to go for as well where you don't see much, but it's enough for you to picture much more. When we screened it, uh, a lot of people reacted, you know, different ways, and some people loved it, and some people thought it was gratuitous, but I always felt like the eating of a human being by zombies should be grotesque and violent. But also, I try to keep it, you know, very hidden and disguised by shadows. Also partially because we didn't have enough money, but I feel like it worked for the overall project. So that's it guys. That's basically Dead End, our little short test zombie film. I'd like to thank you once again for watching it and listening to the commentary. Hopefully this provided a little bit more insight to the project. And here goes the credits. <laughs> If you look, I'm like all over the credits and it's it's really not something that it was just to put me all over the place. It was just a lot of the work that I did. Um, I feel like when you look at, you know, these projects, so much work is done by, you know, one person that we end up wearing so much hats, especially in an indie project. 
it shows you how versatile you can become by being limited by the restraints of you know the film and all this other stuff so once again thanks for watching uh thank you for supporting us i hope you enjoyed this commentary and this insight i hope you enjoyed the film and i guess i'll catch you guys later